disclaimer. There are certain words I shy away from in my videos. Not this time. Since my channel is not monetized, and seeing as they are used by Daniel Pratt liberally in his latest videos, they will be heard. So, Daniel, it appears that I have to cover you yet again. This will make it, what, six videos from me? This time, however, I will not be as kind to you as I have been in the past. You have gone from proving gravity to ranting about political stuff and being an extreme covid -iot. You have had multiple channels removed by YouTube and always start another one back up. You have filed a false DMCA against Team Skeptic and attacked him and other content creators for calling you out on the crap you rant about. You use words like Nazi and pedophile against people because your mind is so ingrained in everything as a conspiracy that it is completely gone. And now you threaten and incite violence against others. Daniel, what the fuck is wrong with you? Are you not getting enough oxygen to your brain? Is sitting in your garage and smoking cigarettes impacting your mental capacity somehow? Or were you dropped on your head as a baby? Somehow you seem to forget that you put out videos with titles like this. And you hide behind the Bible and claim this. Oh, I'm fully aware of what religious persecution is. I'm about to lay it out for you. YouTube is engaged in criminal conspiracy to commit religious persecution. Preventing certain people from gaining revenue, thus supporting their families by allowing other channels to continually persecute them and by YouTube demonetizing them for their religious beliefs. YouTube is engaged in criminal conspiracy against anyone that believes the earth is flat because of their religious viewpoint on top of any scientific proof they wish to provide. Then in another video, you claim this. Maybe because flat earth is an apolitical, non-racial, non-religious, indeed spiritual, but non-religious, truth that exposes the lies having to do with all of those other categories, political, racial, and religious. You do know that spiritual and religious are not the same thing, right? For you to claim you are religiously persecuted because you use the Bible and it somehow stays the shape of the earth as being flat, which it doesn't, that would mean you claim a particular religion, yet you claim this. Keep God number one, always. First commandment. So how would God like you saying this? Big shout out to my mass Nazis. <laughs> so we still have, while at the same time proving that masks are absolutely useless, how, well, by the last four months, at least, running around with 99% of the people Anytime I go to the store, are now wearing masks and have been for at least four months, okay? These people really think the few, the proud, the human, the people with a little discernment, critical thinking ability, a soul, um, choose to evaluate the situation, look at the information, and determine that they can continue going on about life the same way they have for, well, like in my case, 47 years. Walking around without a mask has worked pretty well for me. If you believe in putting God first, then according to the Bible, aren't we all his children? Yet you call those who wear masks, masked Nazis, and imply they are non-human and soulless. Irish Demon then responded to you with some insults, but with a lot of education, which went in one ear and out the other because of the deep rabbit hole inside your head. Uh, anyway, so let's move it on over to um, Daniel... Pr Daniel, what, what is so funny, dude? <laughs> Big shout out to my masked Nazis. <laughs> <laughs> these people, these. <laughs> uh, you, you okay there, uh, Danny boy? Oh, wow. Common sense just ain't so common anymore now, is it?
Yeah, especially when you're a dipshit flat earther and COVID idiot. There is no common sense with these absolute morons. Because I have the nerve to do that. I'm an evil person that needs to be shamed and punished. This is seriously what this, these people think. That or there are agent provocateurs at work out there trying to engage people that have the balls and the brains to walk around without masks on. Are you seriously suggesting that the government or they, whoever they is, have actually sent out undercover agent provocateurs to check if you, some random fucking moron who basically wheezes into a camera all day, to check if you have your mask on? Are you fucking kidding me? Okay, look, I, I'm not being mean when I say this. It goes for me too. Nobody gives a flying sweet fuck about you. Nobody cares who you are, what you say or what you do. Nobody gives a shit. Same here, if I walk around without a mask, which I can in Western Australia, but if I was in a country where there was masks, yeah, people are gonna go, put on a mask, you fucking teen killing dick. They're not an agent provocateur out there trying to catch you. That's a normal member of the public going, hey, motherfucker, put your mask All on. All right, that's a fair point. It is not as easy, let me just fix my hat. It is not as easy to hear people with a mask on, that's fine. But I'm sure you guys can hear me perfectly fine right now. So in that vein, I am going to wear this mask for the rest of the video to show you guys that it is perfectly okay. You can hear people. It might sound a bit muffled, fine. But it's not a big deal. I mean, people can't understand you either, can they? <laughs> All I heard was, mask. <laughs> Just going to interrupt for a minute. Uh, I found this really interesting article here. And it says that um, there's a group of people who engage in, shall we say, adult activities, coitus, with certain non-human creatures. I'm being very careful so YouTube doesn't pull the video. And it says here that it's been found that those people take on the characteristics of the animals that they engage in that contact with. Just thought you guys might find that interesting. Bah, bah. <laughs> See, these people think 99% of people wearing your super masks, the masks that say they don't stop viruses right on the box. Yeah, I think you may have missed the point of masks. Nobody's saying that it necessarily stops viruses coming in or going out. That's not the point. The point is when you wear a mask, not only do you to some extent protect yourself from incoming things, you protect other people from things coming out from you. If I wasn't wearing this mask and I started talking to you and, you know, when you talk, sometimes bits of spit come out or whatever, then there is a much higher likelihood that that person will transmit whatever they may have in their spit. Now, I know this. I covered infection control big time in my previous job. We used to get people spitting at us all the time. And guess what we used to do? We used to put a mask on them, a spit mask. It stops them from spitting at us if they have hepatitis or HIV or whatever. Now, I'm gonna do a disgusting demonstration right here. With the mask on, I'm gonna spit at the camera. <laughs> Guess what? Nothing. Let's try that again. <laughs> Nothing. And now my chin is wet. Thank you. And there is this response to Irish Demon when he called you out on your video from two days ago. It is people like this genius not that genius. This genius. Look at the NASA fanboy with his little propaganda globe next to all his Star Wars fanboy memorabilia and alcohol. I got a question for you, Ireland. Why has no one broken this faggot pedophile's jaw yet? Because he is indeed one of the propagandists promoting pedophiles and sex traffickers that are pushing these mask mandates. This guy, Mr. Irish Demon, at least he's self-aware along with Team Skeptic and Fight the Flat Earth. Notice a pattern here? All the globe cuck loving moron liars on YouTube are infatuated with pushing the dictates of pedophiles. So, Mr. Irish Pedophile, keep saying my name and keep showing what you truly are. You're a pedo loving NASA fanboy COVID cuck bitch. 
you asked why no one had broken his jaw yet and slandered him by calling him a pedophile, among other things. Why? Because he dares to call you out for your fucked up viewpoint about masks and COVID? Your response video titled, Dear Irish Demon, the Pedo-Loving Pedophile, which I will not clip here, was the classiest I've ever seen from you and puts anything God has ever said to shame. You said pedophile and called Irish Demon one no less than 13 times and then said for him to go suck your globe balls and do something horrific to little children, which I will not repeat here. What a fucking messed up thing for you to say. It's no wonder you attract like-minded people who loud you in your comment sections when you have them turned on, of course. I am not surprised that Irish Demon would respond to your classy video. Good afternoon, lads and lasses. Irish Demon here, back with another video. Now, you may have seen that yesterday I did a video uh, talking about Daniel Pratt and his recent uh, COVID stupidity that he put out. Well, it seems like he may have become a little bit butthurt as a result of that, as he decided to do a response video. Of course, he didn't acknowledge any of the things that I said in my video and instead went on a deranged attack, saying some really fucked up shit, directly asking for people to assault me. And now, now, ladies and gentlemen, we move to the abusive portion of the evening. Of course, as a typical flat earth moron, he has nothing better to say than to, you know, physically try to abuse somebody or call for somebody to be, you know, beaten up or whatever the case may be. Well, here's the thing, Danny Pratt. First of all, I don't live in Ireland just because I have an Irish accent and my name is Irish Demon does not mean that I live in Ireland, you dickhead. That's the first thing. So somebody would have a long fucking swim to get to me is all I'm saying. Number two, a few people have tried to break my jaw in the past and nobody succeeded. So you are more than welcome to give it a go, my friend, but you will regret it. That's all I'm saying. So yeah, uh, as I said, moving on, he called me, uh, I'm just going to say the word because he said the word. He called me a faggot. I'm not gay. I've got no problem with gay people. Obviously, I've got tons of gay friends. In fact, my best friend in the world is gay. I don't care. You can call me gay or a faggot. Or I don't see that as an insult at all. The word is not very nice. I wouldn't use that word, but whatever. And then he goes on to call me a pedo. Now, I will just say this. There are very few things on this planet that upset me or annoy me. That is one of them. That's a horrific thing to call somebody and it is lower than snake shit to call somebody a pedophile. It, it really, really is. Here's the thing. I spent the last few years of my career working, uh, you know, in the criminal justice system, dealing with pedophiles on a daily basis. They are the most reprehensible people on the planet. I've also had a lot of experience with individuals who are victims of pedophiles and the effect that it has on their life. Again, horrific. I myself had had some experiences as a child, not anything I want to go into. So this is something that really, really upsets me and pisses me off. This is really not cool. Uh, call me whatever you want. Call me a fat Irish mick twat, whatever you want to call me. But calling somebody a pedophile is just absolutely reprehensible. And I can tell you this. I don't make threats. I make promises. If I ever see you face to face, you are going to regret calling me a pedophile motherfucker. Of course, Daniel, you wouldn't live up to your last name without yet another response. See these Star Wars globe hugging fuckboys? Still think their YouTube channels are going to matter in three weeks. <laughs> they are so fucking deluded. They actually think they are relevant. They actually don't realize they are painting a neon target on their foreheads. Because they are pedo-loving, pedo-supporting fucking demons. And people are fed up with it. So once the shit hits the fan, they will be coming looking for you. Why do you think I've made sure they know who you all are? Oh, and thank you for actually having the comments turned on. I just couldn't resist leaving one just for you. Of course, you did notice and gave me such a touching response. Okay, folks. <laughs> I just had Glober Mom. <laughs> this demonic cunt. Come to my channel whining once again about me censoring their demonic bullshit lies and slanders. 
they actually still think that anything they say is relevant or that I give a fuck or that anyone on my channel gives a fuck what these liars spew out of their shitholes. If I and everyone else were so irrelevant, why respond to my comment or any of us at all? However, I would be lying if I said it wasn't nice to be acknowledged by you in a video, Daniel. The fact that you keep getting kicked off of YouTube because of your hateful content as shown in this video just proves that you are trying to stay relevant with all your COVID denial and anti-mask rhetoric, just like every other flat earther and anti-glober, since that is all but died. So, to me from you, Daniel, ta-ta for now from your demonic cunt. Thank you to all my amazing patrons. Bantarang. Darth Wedgius. Roy Kama Fraser. AJ Ravenwolf. Jason Downing. And L. Batten. Full videos used are linked in the description below. And you know the rest. Hit the like button, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell because YouTube is broken. You know the drill. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.